Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Where you been? I've been here. Literally. Nowhere else to go. <laughs> Hold on. Has anybody else been switching? Anybody in hotter climate areas, Florida, California, you know, things like that. Have you been switching from heat to cool? Or is it just me? I can't find like the perfect temperature because it's like super cold during the day, super cold in the morning, gets warmer in the evening, back to cold at night, and my house doesn't know what is going on. Anyway, welcome back to the channel, y'all. If this is your first time seeing my face, Welcome. Y'all seem to enjoy the last vlog where I brought y'all along with my day. So we're gonna do something very similar today. Just come along with me. I'm not doing anything super, super big, not super crazy, just like the last time, but we're getting some things done. So let's hang out. One thing I've already done, y'all, and I might still be pers pers I was gonna say perspiring. <laughs> that is actually the word, perspiring. That's the actual word. Um, <laughs> If I'm perspiring, <laughs> because when I work out, my body is still in overheat for a good 45 minutes to an hour after. Comment below if you're like this too. I have worked out, had a good workout by the way, y'all. I'm not gonna say I'm going beast mode and I'm back or anything like that, but today, today I went over to the weights, pulled my pants up at the thighs and grabbed my dumbbells and got it in. The significance of this, y'all, is I used to be that girl. Okay? There was once a time where I was that girl. And when I say that girl, I don't mean <laughs> I was that girl. No, I mean for women. For women, it can be very intimidating to even pick up dumbbells and weights because you feel like it's gonna make you bulky, buff, you, you know, masculine, whatever the case may be, right? I know this because there was once upon a time where I was a part of that group. And when you go to the gym, over at the weights, you see a couple of ladies, you see a couple of chicks, but it's mostly men. Big buff arms, big weights, dropping dumbbells, getting it in. So it can be intimidating for y'all, right? It almost feels like that section isn't for us. You know, that's the men's section, but no. Come here, let me tell you something. That's for all of us. That's where we get them gains. So staying on track, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know how I been packing on these pounds. So I've been feeling real like outsider-ish in the gym, kind of getting back in and getting comfortable. And I honestly just haven't felt confident and comfortable enough to just get in there and do what I gotta do. Today, I did that and I was in the zone, had my music in my ears, focusing on my sets, focusing on my reps, focusing on pushing myself, y'all, and it felt so good. It used to be ritual for me. So I'm getting back into it. So this was day one of really like getting on the weights, being in the gym, doing my cardio, hitting the weights, having a full workout and not worrying about what's going on around me and everything else ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Real chill vibes today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got this shirt from the thrift store like literally like 10 years ago before I moved to Florida. Why I told y'all that? I really have no clue. Today, today this will be cleaned. And I set it on camera. So that means I gotta do it, right? Stay tuned. But yeah, like I said, workout is done, y'all. I'm still working on the whole wake up early and get more done thing. It's like a good three-ish o'clock. It seems to be a running, a running thing for me. Around three, four is my get, oh, try to get certain things done, which is not okay, but again, Work in progress. Protein shake, breakfast of a champ. I'm not at all proud of this. My dishes are starting to rack up, so we're gonna get those in the dishwasher. I did find, I mean, I'm honestly not gonna say the right size um, sink protector, but it fits. And you know what? I'm over it. It's just gonna have to do until it gets on my nerves because it's slightly smaller than it needs to be. So it kind of moves. You know, but when I grab a pot, I can toss it, right? That's the point. So yeah, here's just kind of like an overview of the mess that has been compiling. Um, today, I'm going to, 
think I'm gonna just like make a soup, a vegetable soup with cabbage in the crock pot that I got. So we'll see how that works. I don't know if I'm gonna record that, but it'll definitely allow me to have just a healthier meal on hand throughout the week. <laughs> I just so happen to be at Aldi's and found this drawer up. Y'all, it is delicious. I'm just saying. Yeah, mess, 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 mess. I'm giving y'all a good before because I'm about to either put y'all down, stop recording all together, and really just get into it. Like, y'all, this has been right here since I put that light up, okay? And this, that was maybe like, I don't know, you know, say it was like way too long ago, and it was a few days ago, so yeah, this has been there. I've just gotten a little too comfortable with leaving things where they are, because in my mind, I still feel like things are under construction, but also like I need to get out of that mindset. It's hard to explain. I don't know how to explain it completely, but like I'll leave stuff like this out and boxes out and just like stuff where it is. Cause I'm like, I'm not completely moved in yet. It hasn't started yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Don't know if that makes sense. But today we're gonna clean. Today we're gonna clean. Today we are going to work on this mess, okay? So that's why I'm giving y'all a good view of it. Let's see what we got over here. See, more clutter. Boxes. I need to put that mirror up here because I want it to just cover up this right here because I already have an alarm system. What's my alarm system? Don't worry about it. Somebody is upstairs getting something done. Don't worry about that either. So let's get to cleaning. It's the clutter for me. So let's do it. I'll probably end up like literally having a video of decluttering. That's gonna be down the line. But, oh sorry, my dishwasher's running and you can hear it. <laughs> but um, I cleaned this spot, y'all! Look! Yeah, I didn't just move everything to one spot. I actually put things where they need to be. So this is all clean, 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 clean. Now, I don't know how well you can see. But these windows are really bad. Windows are really bad. So what I'm gonna do, these chairs back here, I literally just took them out of storage to free up space and storage. I originally was going to sell them because these are my old patio seats. I know my best friend got me a patio set, which is gonna be more my vibe for what I wanna go for back here. So here's the thing, I pulled these out to sell them, but I have them coming in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna need a little bit more seating outside. So temporarily, I am going to have these two chairs with the new patio set. It's definitely gonna be a clash of design, but I feel like if I maybe switch out the throws, get a floor, like an outdoor rug, 
and kind of vibe it out a little bit because this won't be like a huge patio makeover like I plan to do down the line. Down the line, I want to change my flooring, but before I do anything drastic, I actually want to extend the concrete slab a little further down and maybe a little further up, but that is not cheap. So um, look out for a patio makeover video soon. We won't call it a patio makeover. We'll just do like patio setup soon. I'm gonna make sure I do that right before they come because I want us to be able to hang out here, you know, be out here, get my tea lights going. This is gonna be a vibe, I'm excited. That's my dishwasher y'all, sorry for the noises. But back to what I was actually saying, I haven't given these sliding glass doors a thorough clean since I have lived here. So let's clean these windows up and we'll go from there. Oh, of course I know I have to let y'all know what the vibe is today. Pumpkin peanut brittle, y'all, this is so strong, but we're dealing with such a big empty space that it's perfect. It's like filling up my entire downstairs. This smells delicious. I'm talking, just think peanut brittle. Peanut brittle fresh out the pack. Like you open it for the first time, it's been in there and getting the smells and the wrapper, but it, the smells just hit you when you first open it. Super buttery, super peanutty, just peanut brittle, y'all. Oh my God, I'm in love. I think this actually might be actually my last one. I made a trip to storage and got a couple of candles. I really haven't been keeping a track of like what's in my backup, what I should be burning, what I shouldn't. I'm kind of grabbing what's in the front, but I'm a candle lover, y'all. I don't buy candles for show. I buy them to burn. This is already about to be going. <laughs> All right. I never knew till I looked in your eyes. Mm -hmm. I wait for days and the weeks and the years roll by. And I never knew that my heart could feel so precious and moon. My love, so real. Every morning, pray. Oh yeah, perfect. I think I can really see the dust on there. This tripod is giving me a run for my money, y'all. I, I can't. This is as best as we're gonna get. So let's clean this window, shall we? We shall. Why that song is in my head? I'm not sure. Where's the Windex? Where's the Windex? Bouncity, bouncity. Oh my God, this is not gonna be fun with how my back is feeling. But we are just gonna hope for the best and go with the flow. Y'all, I literally, all I do is, all I do is watch lives and YouTube while I do the things that I need to do and it helps the time go by. Okay, it's not perfect. It ain't perfect. It's not perfect, but it's a lot cleaner than it was. Y'all, my back really, really hurt. I know I probably said it a million times, but I really am in a lot of pain. Um, so I think I might have to chillax a little bit after I do a couple more things. <laughs> but here's the thing about doing projects in the house. Once I do one, it kind of ignites me to want to do other things. And I kind of want to put my curtains up. I kind of want to just put them up and see what the vibe is. I still haven't even painted this part. It's ready to be painted because I've already filled it, orange peeled it. Hey, nah, okay, anyway. But I think I'm gonna put my curtains up and we'll see what vibe it's given. We'll see if I got the right length and all that good stuff. Okay, give y'all some foot action. 
What do I think about this? I just set it here for some inspo. Moving along. <laughs> I walk very hard and I didn't know that until my neighbor that lived downstairs from me knocked on my door in the middle of the night. Hold on. This is where all my curtains have been this whole time. I think two sets are 98 inches and two sets are 118 inches. Got what I need. Y'all, I didn't know that I walked so hard, right? Until in my old apartment, middle of the night. She was hella dramatic, by the way. Like, granted, I prob I mean, I do, I do walk hard. I didn't really pay attention to it until she told me. Mind you, I'm that neighbor that always lives alone. Don't bother nobody. Like, I'm the neighbor you want to have. Like, didn't really have gas, you know what I'm saying? But I guess when I got up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, one night she came to my door and knocked, right? And I opened the door and this is literally her. You just walk so hard. And I wanted to be like, girl, if you don't get the hell from my door, but I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. But that was my, um, <laughs> that was funny to me. Y'all, I know this is the best lighting, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is the best I can do right now. Oh, my back. Okay, so question to y'all. When you put up your curtains, did you wash them first? I hear that a lot of people do that now. I don't have a washer or a dryer, but because I'm pretty much deciding. Can y'all see me? I just feel like I'm so dark. I just feel like I'm super dark. Because I am choosing to take my time with my couch, that's gonna allow me to use that money on other things. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a washer and dryer. Cause mom has got mountains of clothes that need to be washed. And I'm that person that will wait until I'm on my last pair of drawers to wash clothes. Anywho, I don't even know how I got there. But for curtains, do you wash your curtains before you put them up? I'm gonna get a hand steamer for the curtains. But this is really just like a rough draft. This is a test to see what they're looking like, get the vibe, hope y'all can see. We gonna put up some curtain, y'all. These are the Lindas from Ikea in 118 inches. Two panels come in a pack. So I'm gonna put two packs up here just so we can maybe like have one flowing here, one flowing here, kind of cover up that separation. One over here, one over here, just for the illusion of trying to kind of like make it, you'll see, you'll see. We'll see how it goes. Either way, it's gonna cover up the full window when I close them, but I'm gonna get them on and then you'll get a better idea of my mental vision, so let's see. It's definitely draping the floor. Um, I didn't want it to drape that much. I think I'm about to go and grab a 98 inch one just to see the difference before I really, really get into it. Because I could, you know, hem those up, glue them up. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna grab a 98 and then we'll go from there. I think that the 118 inch drapes are more for like 10 foot ceilings and my ceilings downstairs are nine foot. But if you look at this 98 inch, I'm glad I kind of held it up before I put it down. I think this is made more for like an eight inch eight inch, sorry, eight foot ceiling, which my ceilings upstairs are eight foot. So I'm so glad that I got them. But this will be too short, so. We put this to the side. We're gonna stick with the 118 inches and we'll play with it like that and we get the rest up. Okay. 
Catch the bob, catch the bob, catch the bob. Y'all, it's super dim right now. And this is as bright as I can get it. But tell me what y'all think. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely feel like once I have my furniture and yada yada yada, it's gonna really come together and if the sun was out, like if the sun was out, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to insert a clip once the sun does come out probably earlier tomorrow. Um, so y'all can really get a vibe for it. But the sun's definitely facing the front of the house right now. Um, it's getting close to actual sunset. So that's why, but here we go. These are the curtains. They drape down. Um, I'm worried of course of it collecting dirt and lint and things. But a part of me kind of likes the flow of the hang. Let me know what y'all think about that. In my apartment, those gray and white curtains that I showed y'all, they were originally pretty long and I just kind of folded them, ironed them, and hot glued them up to like fit perfectly. So I might do something like that to these, except I have a sewing machine now, so I'll probably, you know, do it the less ghetto way. Or also I might just put my Google, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, curtains are up, y'all. Let's play with it a little bit. So I like the vibe of this, right? The purpose for me is kind of like the illusion that this is just one big window. You see? The illusion of just one big window. Um, I love that, right? Um, now if I didn't care about that, I could kind of pull these more to the side, you know, like, one panel on each, but it's technically two because of, you know, the length. So that's another option. Oh my goodness, these Linda curtains are really nice. I did leave one on the edge, so I gotta be careful with that because it could come off like this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna reattach that and pay close attention to it. But let's push this out a little bit more so that it makes the window look much bigger. This gives it a, you know, bigger than it is sliding glass door illusion because the curtain goes beyond where it starts. I like that. It also comes with these little hooks. I'm gonna put them on just for fun. Let's see. Bam, another vibe. This isn't my typical thing, but I actually like it. It's very elegant, very, it gives me bougie. Definitely giving me bougie. <laughs> and then I'm gonna close them all together so we can make sure that we have a sufficient enough amount of curtains to cover the space for like, you know, nighttime when I close them. All right, y'all. So it definitely, hold on, let me close this one here. So it absolutely covers it all um, and then some. So when you're able to kind of have like the bunching and the ridges while it's all closed, that's when you know you have a, a sufficient amount, a good amount of curtains, because you want it to comfortably cover everything. I don't care for it closed. <laughs> so let's open it back, but this is exciting. This is definitely exciting stuff for me. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Comment below what y'all think. And, and envision this with me too. Eventually, I want to paint all of the trim around the glass, a matte black on the sliding glass door and also that window here. Not sure about that one, but it's gonna be a vibe to the point where I almost want to paint the trim of this mirror black. But this mirror is probably gonna go like into the closet or something. I don't know about that. But yeah, curtains are up over here. Super, super happy with it. Tell me what y'all think about the length. Tell me what y'all think in general. Give me your thoughts. I know how we do, we're just gonna play it by ear. Now let me show y'all something real quick. We're not really show y'all something. More like thank y'all. <laughs> Some of y'all said, okay, get another one. Very few said, just keep it as is. But a lot of y'all, whole bunch of y'all said, put this light right here right there and it's almost like begging me to put it there right it's like the perfect spot and it fixes both problems right i won't have to spend another 80 bucks on another light don't want to do that 
and also it will be an even distribution of light and it won't look so lopsided it's perfect so i think i'm about to do that now my only concern is the anchors i think i might have to a go to home depot and get some more anchors or try to make those anchors work which probably won't happen because y'all know it was already kind of kind of kind of janky so thank y'all for that i'll just update y'all when i update it on how it looks when it's done but that's gonna be perfect right do 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 i'm gonna take that bring it up here perfect um these wreaths are from marshall's because somebody just asked me that y'all i get a lot of comments throughout the day so what i try to do is sit down and like answer all the ones that i haven't answered or reply to all the ones i haven't replied to i don't just reply to comments throughout the day i sit down and just do it all so i'm never ever ignoring y'all like i literally try to reply to every comment that comes to my channel unless you're asking a question that's already been answered or like you in my business or like you just comment something that i don't need to reply to so yeah i'll be back Hey, I'm back. I'm sorry. I started recording something else, y'all. I'm making soup in the new crock pot. I'm doing like a little unboxing and review on it. So look forward to that video if that's your kind of thing. I'm so sorry, y'all. I expected to share a little bit more of what I'm doing. But to be honest, I'm in a lot of pain and I'm about to try and sit down and do a couple things, do a little bit of editing and online searching. <sighs> Some other stuff came up let's just say that but i appreciate you coming along with me doing a couple of things talking about a couple of things send me some good vibes for this backyard i don't know what is going on i don't know what is going on but it will not go away and it was before i started working back out too so it's not you know that um probably need to see a chiropractor or something anywho thank you for watching this video um Tell me what you think about the curtains. This is really, I feel old as hell. Tell me what you think about the curtains. Tell me your honest opinion, y'all. Crockpot's out, we got the vibes going, being prepared, focusing on having healthier options available, and all that good stuff. Ooh. I hope you are having a beautiful day, wherever you are, however you are, and if you are not, just know that it's gonna be okay. Bad times don't last forever. Stay focused on what you can control. Keep moving forward and it'll be all right. I'll see you on the next video.